Hey guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror book review. And today we're going to be looking at the 2012 book Last Days by Adam Neville. So this is my second book I've read by this writer. And I can say for sure it won't be the last. Now at the beginning of this book, just as in The Ritual... He lists his inspirations and books he used as references when writing this story. And I love that. Uh, both books had this. And uh, I'm going to assume his other ones do too. I think every writer should do that. But uh, not many do. Uh, at least uh, in an introduction at the beginning of the book. Uh, I, I loved reading it. And now he lists books uh, about Jim Jones and Charles Manson. And in fact, Helter Skelter uh, sparked his fuse, as he says, into writing this story. So Last Days is about a documentary filmmaker who is propositioned by a wealthy man who's a film producer uh, that wants him to make a documentary about this cult that was going during the 70s. And now this filmmaker is uh, down on his luck. He's in massive debt. He self-financed movies because he wants to make good documentaries and he doesn't like any interference from production companies. And he makes documentaries like I would want to make. So uh, it was really easy to relate with this guy and where he was coming from uh, and just who he was in general. I, I really liked the main character. Uh, you know, <laughs> so this film producer has this documentary all set up. Uh, all the filming is supposed to happen in 11 days. All the locations are set and all the interviews are set. And he has a somewhat of like script points or script that he wants followed uh, while this guy is making this but this is a dream job and he's gonna get paid for this so he's all over it Th I mean it seems too good to be true to him and as he goes along filming these interviews he learns more about the film producer and his motives and the film producer definitely wants him to focus on the paranormal aspects of this cult and it's not long after they start filming this documentary that paranormal activity happens and it only fuels the filmmaker to drive himself and his cameraman into diving deeper into this film they're making. Uh, and then they start getting blinded by uh, uh, thoughts of glory and making this amazing documentary uh, up to the point where they get so deep into this cult that they cannot escape it. So the things I liked about Last Days is I love the way that the story is laid out throughout the book. Um, it goes at, with each chapter going into a different location and a different interview. And it's all progressing the story to its climax. And uh, I just thought it was a great book. Uh, the way it was written, the documentary filmmaking uh, was uh, really thought about while writing this book. And I have to say that I thought parts of this book were truly scary. Um, I, there was definitely more than uh, a couple parts where I truly felt scared while reading this. Okay, and so the things I didn't like about Last Days is I will have to say that I did enjoy the first half of the book more than the second half. But I still found the book hard to put down, even though I enjoyed the first half more. And as with the ritual, 
I feel like this book is lacking in violence. And uh, I just feel like maybe Adam Neville, after only reading two books by him, doesn't really write a level of violence which I think would add intensity and make the story even more dark. Uh, I mean, that's just me personally. Some people might think this has plenty of violence in it. But to me, I feel like both of these books were lacking uh, in violence. So my final thoughts on Last Days is I love this book. Uh, I will say I did like The Ritual more, but I still love this one, and I found it hard to put down. And I was making time to read this book. And The Last Days would make an amazing found footage movie if it was handled right. <laughs> Uh, I hope one day we get to watch a movie of this book. I think it could be really cool. Um, so I'm going to give Last Days uh, an 8 out of 10. And I do highly suggest it. I just would say I thought the ritual was better. But this is still a really good one. Uh, Alright you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next review.